Hey, I'm Total Instinct, and did you know there was a plugin to make this whole game a giant dance party? What's good everybody, I'm back with a bit of a different video today as I'll be going over some plugins you can start using right now to customize and improve your client graphics, prevent client related lag, some of my favorite quality of life plugins, and finally some secret plugins I don't think many people know about. Pretty soon your game will go from looking like this to this. Or maybe something like this is better for you. I'll be going over everything you need to know for 30 plus plugins and I made sure that all of these plugins will be relevant to everyday gameplay so you could be confident you'll be able to start using any of these plugins right away and hopefully just learn something new in this video. And then the last thing I want to mention is that all of these plugins are on RuneLite so make sure you're using this client as honestly it's just the best. Anyways, let's get into this. So the first set of plugins I want to talk about are related to the game graphics. I'm going to list out 8 different plugins here starting with the GPU plugin. Basically this just lets you increase your draw distance, smooths out images, and just improves the game's performance. As you can tell it looks really nice. Next we got the animation smoothing plugin which does exactly what you would think it does, smooths out your animations. Low detail mode gets rid of some of the noisy textures on the ground and just in the game. It can look nice in some areas but really isn't for everyone. Then you got Skybox which gives you a sky in the game, kinda nice if you ask me. The camera plugin allows you to extend your zoom and just increase the camera's functionality so I would highly recommend it. Also as a bonus camera smoothing smooths out your camera zooms and rotations which can just make it look a little bit nicer and less choppy. And then finally I just want to mention stretch mode for those of you who play in full screen mode like me and have your inventory in your face on the classic layout. It just makes it more easy and convenient to click around in my opinion. Overall with all these plugins I just mentioned your game will look something like this which is what I personally enjoy playing on the most but there's also a plugin called 117 HD which you can download in the plugin hub. This plugin basically makes the game look super HD as you can see and just gives you the ability to adjust lighting, shadows, and much more to your personal preferences. Okay, now we're going to talk about some plugins that can help you prevent lag. And the first plugin I want to talk about is Entity Hider, which can get rid of other players and even NPCs if you want. This can be useful in highly concentrated areas like the GE or even the Blast Furnace. Ping Graph is a plugin in the plugin hub that allows you to see your ping to certain worlds, which can just be really helpful to figure out which world you have the best connection to. The FPS plugin is helpful just to keep an eye over your FPS and maybe test out how other plugins might be affecting your FPS. Now keep in mind there is a real possibility that you may just have too many plugins enabled and your game could be slowing due to this, so try disabling some plugins if you're still getting consistent lag issues or frame drops. Anyways that's all I really got from preventing lag, let's get into some quality of life plugins. So the first plugin I want to talk about in this section is called Quest Helper. A lot of you probably already know this plugin as it honestly just makes questing so much more enjoyable in this game as it tells you exactly where to go, who to talk to, and the items you need. Next, the Fairy Ring plugin allows you to search where you want to go in a fairy ring instead of having to type out the code or look up the code, so it's just really convenient. Ground Items just shows you the value of items on the ground and you can even hide items under a specific value which can just be super helpful doing any kind of combat activity as you'll be able to see the value of your drops. There's tons of ways to customize this plugin too so definitely just play around with it. Next up we have ground markers which allows you to mark tiles on the ground which is super helpful when you have to make precise clicks. The menu entry swapper plugin is honestly one of my favorites as it just lets you left click on NPCs to interact with them instead of having to right click and then left click. There's a lot of other random things here too which you can mess around with but this ability to swap the menus is honestly the highlight here. XP Drop is a plugin that shows you your XP drops and lets you customize how you see them. The Grand Exchange plugin shows you the GE limits and actively traded prices for whatever item you are thinking about selling or buying. Then we have the Bank Tabs plugin which lets you make additional bank tabs on the side here, allowing you to better organize your bank and potential gear setups. The last plugin I want to mention in this section is the Skills Calculator, which is just a really nice tool to see different ways you can train your skills and how many actions it would take to level up. 
Okay, now let's get into the secret plugins that I think are just more fun than anything else. We'll start with the one you saw in the intro, which is Dance Party. This literally just makes everyone look like they're dancing from your client side, which is pretty great. Next, we got Fashionscape, which allows you to see how your character would look in different outfits. It even has a randomize button that lets you try out random outfits you might have not thought of. Chat Commands is nice for searching up prices on the GE and showing off your kill counts to your friends. Next, we have the Sky Skill progress bar which adds a nice little bar under your skills for those who are more visual. Bank XP value is pretty cool because it tells you how much potential XP you have in your bank based on the resources you have and even breaks them down in skills like this. This is especially super nice if you have a cluttered bank like me. Next is Equipment Expector, which just allows you to see what other people are wearing easily. I think this is especially handy for new players who are still learning the items. Shortest Path allows you to mark any spot on the minimap and get the shortest tile path to the destination, which can be nice for maneuvering through hard areas. And finally, the last plugin of this video is called the Gear Animation Replacer, which is another funny one as it allows you to change how your character looks holding different weapons. Again, though, this is client sided, so only you will be able to see this, but that doesn't mean it's not a lot of fun. Anyways, that's a wrap on the video guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like as it really helps me out and maybe comment any plugins you might have picked up from this video. Also congrats to the last video's giveaway winner who won a bond. If you want a chance to enter these giveaways and win, just join my discord and look out for any giveaway announcements. This discord is really just to get people together and kind of create a community and I might even feature some people from the discord in my future videos. So if this sounds interesting to you, definitely join up. I'll have a link in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.